You didn't see this coming. Heck, I didn't see this coming. Softube made a bomb of a plugin and asked Mixbus TV to drop it on you. Because this is the house of mixing. This is the house of saturation. <laughs> Overstayer MAS Saturator plugin world premiere. Is this better than the hardware? Let's find out. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mixpress TV. Hope you're having a great day. Before we start, please check the info box down below for my mixing courses on Pro Mix Academy, free plugins, special discounts and offers. And of course, link to the Overstayer MAS plugin. And if you want to support the channel, but most important, if you really want to up your mixing and mastering game, click the join button down here, become a Mixbus TV member, access the already big and always growing library of full mixing courses, start to finish. Mastering courses and a bunch are gonna be added in the next weeks, special videos and a lot more. You also get mixed consultations with me via Skype or email. Let's get to the video. All right, all right, all right. Let's get down and dirty, literally, with this one right away. Overstayer Mass Saturator by Softube. Let me start by saying this is one of the very rare cases probably the only one I think in which I feel like the plugin is even better than the hardware and yes I actually had the overstayer mass back when I was still in Europe I had it for about a month a month and a half and I really liked the unit the hardware was very unique sounding and kind of an elegant type of distortion and saturation and with the most setting you could barely hear the action as in the added saturation and harmonic, but what you could notice was the reduction in nominal level on peak material, so transient material, kicks, snares, and it was doing it in a very, very transparent way. So that was one thing that I really like about the hardware, but I didn't end up keeping it because I felt like it was not versatile enough for me, for what were my needs at the time. And the reason because I say, I think the soft version is better is because I kind of feel they felt the same way because what they did with this plugin is adding a bunch of features that make this saturator so much more versatile. And as for how close it's to the hardware, we don't really care that much, but we know from previous emulation that Softube did that they are probably the best out there right now doing hardware analog emulation. They went so far that they made two plugins. The regular Overstayer plugin here at the top has all the functions that the hardware has, but they added five more types of emphasis mode. And we'll see what that means. But then they made an extended version of the plugin. Resizable GUI, of course. And here you can see they added a whole new section to shape the saturation to your needs. But let's start by taking a look at the regular plugin first and its functions. The AMS is a pretty simple and straightforward unit. You have an input to drive the signal, you have an output to compensate. The plugin version also has a mix knob on auto compensation for the output. And then we have three filters, a simple EQ section if you want, a high shelf, just 2dB, a low shelf, again, just 2dB, and a resonant low pass filter centered around 50 Hertz. Then we have a dual button, which basically splits the saturation in two stages to give a different texture and a different spread of harmonics. And then a second button, which basically shifts the harmonic content to be more towards a second order harmonic. And then the emphasis button. And this is where Softube started making this unit, so to speak, better. In the hardware, you only have one option, emphasis on or off, okay? And when you activate this one, you see at the bottom, classic MAS, green button lights up. In this way, the plugin sounds and acts exactly as the hardware. But then they added five more options, low bandwidth, low presence, high presence, bass distortion, and treble distortion, which, which let me tell you already, it's great to shave off harsh material. We will hear all these emphasis option in action. It's easier to hear what they do than me trying to explain it to you, even though the names are pretty clear, you can imagine what they do. Before looking at the extended version, we're gonna hear this one in action, but Softube didn't stop here. They added, you can see these three buttons at the top. You have an input here, completely transparent, you have an output here, and then you have a headroom slider. And this is gonna be very, very useful. And again, an improvement on the original unit, because in most cases, the unit needed a pretty hot signal 
to reach the level of saturations that you commonly want when in use. Hidden controls that you never touch and you never use. You will find yourself using the headroom slider a lot. You also have a high pass filter and a phase invert for which you can adjust the corner frequency. This is gonna be very useful when you use the mix knob, for example, or if you use this in parallel. Without further ado, let's hear how it sounds drum first and we start with drums because I want you to notice what I said at the beginning this is a great clipper for that crest factor and let's see where this drum peaks at minus 8.6 okay let's reset with the overstayer we gain 2 dB just like that now let's start playing with it With these settings, we still gain 2 dB of headroom, but the drum sounds louder, more bottom end, more top end, and this nice saturation that we start to hear, okay? Let's play with the headroom. You hear the type of saturation on the overstayer is, really is different from most, if not all the other saturator. It doesn't hype anything. It doesn't really hype anything. It's a very organic and natural kind of saturation. Let's start with emphasis. I'm gonna take these two out. low bandwidth. Really cool, you have so many different types of collections of harmonic that focus more or less on certain specific ranges, but those six modes are meant for you to pick the right one for the right instrument. For example, the bass distortion, it's great on 808 to add that grit that makes uh, the low content translate well on small speakers, we'll hear that. Let's try on something else.
you here you can go from super solid so basically use it just for that crest factor thing uh, just reducing the nominal level in a transparent way to sound sculpting and sound design and over the top distortion let's take a look at the extended version of this plugin the extended version has everything that the normal version has but takes the emphasis mode to a different level letting you shape the saturation in any way you want so let's take a look at this added panel which doesn't exist in the hardware we have low pass and high pass filters these come before the saturation so let's hear just those we have also a resonant knob Please notice how much life and power there is in this loop with just two moves. Resonant HPF, so you remove the sub energy that you don't need. You put the resonance all the way up and then you find the lowest usable frequency which will get boosted. You clean up, you add power, you turn the input up and you have this really organic and natural saturation to it. With or without again, just the filter. Top end, LPF. All right, and these were just the filters. Now the interesting part, bass dB, treble dB, and two presence knob with selectable frequencies. Take a look at the black triangle here, and you see you have compensation on presence and bass. When I turn the bass up, it auto compensates. Same, of course, if I go down. And if you want, you can disengage and you see the black triangle, the compensation is off but hear them in action because they kind of work backwards of what you expect. When you boost the bass, you add more saturation to that range and the level goes down. This is useful in a case like this, for example, you want to drive the input hard, but you don't want to distort that kick drum that much because it kind of starts to lose the power. And that's what I said, the plugin is better than the hardware because you could not do this with an analog unit. And with this kind of control, this is a perfect saturator for mastering as well. Pretty impressive it's so versatile the extended version is definitely my favorite because with saturation many times the more complex the material is the more chances you have a one range to be over excited not in a good way so i'm load off of those problematic frequencies okay let's try it on a couple of full mixes Give me some time and just concentrate As me tell you about this little youth we contemplate Say him must eat the food till him lick down pan plate So the little youth decide to put big gun pan waste Say him while out and go all insane Say him harder than that brother run to all in vain 
mama wrote to him was all in vain. Now she cry and a ball in pain. Just because the youth start to rap and kill. And say, I'm going to stop until. Well, as them sell it by the gun, dead by the gun. And so by it, him on a brain get pop and spill. No, him gone. Can't see him again. Sad song I sing for him again. No advice. Mama can't give him again. I know me never see my friend. Because him gone. Can't see him again. Another Rita leave for him again. But pasta can't pray for him again. Another sad story, it's him again. And then make me tell you about my virgin, just sentinel. Used to chant and sing till the man get sent. All right, you hear these are finished mix, so they don't really need another layer of saturation, but just to show you the possibilities of the plugin. On this one, it's pretty easy to hear how much fuller the mid-range sound. And backing off, again, the bass knob, you ease the saturation on the low end, which is usually more difficult to uh, saturate properly and you don't need an over-the-top saturation usually it's just a little bit of warmth to make it translate better on smaller speakers but i really like this shop who just made another great plugin Used to be homie, so I'm chased up hard working, not a sailor. Just caked up, I made up my mind, I gotta get the bag. Shorty, I am not the one, so don't you get attached. And where I am from, it's like we never had. So if I gotta split, then I get the better half. And I just paint the picture, and I ain't never rap. Got my mind on my money, money on my mind, and these streets kind of funny. So I hang on to that line, and my wrist looking lovely, but girl, you can't get my time because time equal money is too easy to decide. I'm hungrier than ever, you can see it in my eyes. I'm hotter than the weather when it's beaming in July, but this shame ain't get. Once again, you have so many possibilities and play with the phase invert, especially if you use the mix knob. It will give you a different result. It will probably solve some of the problems that you could have with saturation in general. And it's very well implemented here. If you had an 808, you wanna add a little bit of warm and saturation, this is the tool. Here the low presence emphasis mode, how much it helps here without. This is crucial in a mix, otherwise this 808 would be pretty deaf. You would have to turn the volume so high to make it heard, especially in small speakers. This algorithm is pretty much thought for this purpose here. Let's try it really quick on vocals because this is a great saturator for vocals as well. And it can help you control in a dynamic of a vocal in a more natural way, not changing the envelope like you would do with a compressor, which is needed when it's needed. But this can be a form of dynamic control to add before or after compression. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. But every little stab just takes me further down. I found my soul just waiting in the lost and found. Babe, it's nothing you did, so stop talking stupid. We gave it a taste, now it's done I'm out for self-healing, you ain't got that feeling I am the one that I love All I ever wanted was to stand my ground Big words to confuse and spin your mind around 
But every little step just takes me further down I found my soul just waiting in the lost and found All right, and if in a case like this you have a specific frequency that gets too much distortion, you just open the extended version and you tweak the control in the extended panel. It's key with this plugin to be extremely precise with your gain staging. That's also why, again, let me remind you, you have a headroom slider. It reacts very dynamically to the dynamic of the material. So just like when you set a compressor, take into consideration all the various part if you have dynamic material, okay? But this just makes the plugin more, so to speak, real and versatile. And this is pretty much it for this video. I think Softube just made another excellent job with this one. You will probably see me using this one in my mixes. And if you're a member, you can see all the mix breakdowns. The link is going to be in the info box down below. This was another world premiere here on Mixbus TV. I hope the video was useful. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already and follow Mixbus TV on all the social media. There's a lot of great news going on and a lot more to come. Stay safe. See you next time. Hands on my neck, hands get my throat, throat Lift me up